Are you looking for a unique place to go glamping with your family? By pure luck, we found an awesome place to stay in Chester, Massachusetts, a quiet town in the western part of the state in the Berkshire foothills. Our kids really enjoy the Boxcar Children book series, so imagine their surprise when we told them we were staying in a real caboose for four nights. The Chester Railway Station and Museum has a charming old 1919 caboose which sleeps four comfortably. Our stay really was a lot of fun. We loved living in the caboose, pretending to be the boxcar children, and exploring the station and museum each day. Plus, we saw huge freight trains zoom past our window day and night. Dave Pierce, the museum's host and president of the Chester Foundation, is a wealth of knowledge about Chester and the history of the Western Railroad. This was the first railroad in the country to go over a mountain and through wilderness. It was also the longest railroad of its time, stretching 150 miles. Dave's hospitality was fantastic as he guided us through the memorabilia in the museum and set up a different model train for us to enjoy each day. The property also includes a children's heritage boxcar museum, a fully equipped blue caboose kitchen, and a 1923 tank car. The Chester Railway Station is part of the National Historic Landmark designation for the Western Railroad Stone Arch Bridges and Chester Factory Village Depot. If you're interested in visiting the museum or staying in the caboose, visit their website, chesterrailwaystation.net, to read all about it. So, what else is there to do in Chester? Start your day with coffee and a hearty breakfast at Carms, which is located in an old, charming mobile gas station building. Then head out on any of several short walks around town. Chester was incorporated as a town in February of 1783 and the Western Railroad, later named the Boston and Albany Railroad, opened to Chester in May of 1841. Chester is known as the gem of the valley and has a proud history as home to the granite and emery industries. If you're looking for a longer hike, head a couple of miles north of town to the Keystone Arch Bridge Trail. This beautiful 2.5 mile one-way trail follows the railroad and the Westfield River. It offers terrific views of the Keystone Bridges, which were built in 1840 for the Western Railroad. It's also a great place for cooling off on a hot day. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and share it with a friend. And check out our travel resources guide in the description below to help you plan your next trip. Happy travels!